Tell us what happened with this um, uh, anti-abortion vote in the House yesterday. There was a march. Was it yesterday or the day before? There was a march uh, that um, to well, Roe versus Wade anniversary. Is right. Up. And so there's a they march. A march for life. They call it a march for life. Um, I call it a march for men that want to tell women what to do with their bodies but don't care much about life when it's war, gun violence, the death penalty, or a variety of other things. I think it's a little bit too long to be catchy, um, but that's what I think the, the march should be renamed. And so, yeah, they did that. And um, this bill, and they're, again, as I said, this is well, the kind of bill they're trying to pass in states around the country. And after 2014, they control so many more chambers. One of the uh, unnoticed things that, that, that day is how many seats we lost in state legislatures, right. which was astounding. Um, but what they're trying to do, and they're doing going to do this federally, is to pass this bill that limits abortion to 20 weeks. But beyond that, the, the, the key thing here is they just can't get away from the legitimate rape thing. Because when, when uh, what's his name, Goofball from Missouri, his name doesn't even come to me, which is a good thing, right. I think, said that phrase, that wasn't just a random phrase. That's how these guys talk to each other. All right, remember, it, it, you remember when, when uh, Ron Paul said an honest rape? I mean, these are, these are actual terms that they use with each other, and what this means is, is they think all these, these, in their view, again, slutty, quote-unquote, women, are claiming that they were raped who weren't because they use abortion as birth control and yada, yada, yada. In fact, I think Phyllis Schlafly said it, it's usually a case of buyer's remorse, is the way she put it. Mm. Wonderful, wonderful woman that she is. So, in, so it's not enough, the 20-week ban. They have to insert language in there that literally is like out of Margaret Atwood, okay? I mean, you know, now we're going to have the abortion police, it looks yes, like. Yes, it's, if, if you, you, if you it, claim it, uh, it's, it's a rape and incest uh, exemption, uh, you need to report the crime to a law enforcement agency, um, and uh, you have to basically have them uh, adjudicate whether or not you really got raped. That's right. So, I mean, while you're going through this kind of trauma and dealing with the fact that you maybe have been made pregnant by somebody, you've got to make sure, and may have been given sexually transmitted diseases for that matter, you've got to make sure during that period of time that, you, that it is official that you've been raped. Because God forbid somebody misplaces the paperwork or screws something up or whatever, then, you know, congratulations. You, you get to be with your rapist's baby forever. Um, it is... It is you know, as demeaning and, um, uh, you know, as much of an attack as these guys have launched on, on women in other, in other ways, this may be the worst. I mean, again, this is Margaret Atwood type stuff. Mm. This is like, you know, this is that, that future where, where women go back to, I guess, where, where the theme of the show. They become like they are in Saudi Arabia in this country and have no control of anything and, and are told what to do. I mean, that's what we're talking about here. And so even Republican women... They should tell they should tell the Democrats something about what to run on and what to know to talk about around well, the country. Because when the, Renee Elmers is offended by something, I mean, all right, wait Renee, a second. Renee Elmers Let me, is the let's just, said, let's just, men let's, need to speak a little slower and clearer so us women can understand. This is She's not offended by anything. Renee Elmers, the reason why she did this is because they are very worried about 2016. If Hillary Clinton is on the top of the ballot, that means that um, uh, uh, women no, no, and single I, women coming up. I agree, out, Sam. I don't mean she's personally offended as in— as no, in, they're worried oh, about it. In terms of, she's but, offended politically. She understands how toxic this is. But, women wait men a are too stupid to get it. Let me just say, uh, Aaron Cameron from, uh, from MNBC, NBC points out that in 2013, the exact— same bill passed in the House with all but six Republican members voting yes, including Elmers. So the bottom line is, but, but it's, it's not that she again, finds offensive, they, but it's they toxic get the political toxicity today. Of right, this. right, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Right. I don't believe, with the right. exception of maybe a handful of them, I don't think there's almost anything that could be too right wing. I mean, right. we've got a bunch of, of careerist sellout, you know, people that believe in sorcery. And are, I mean, you know, the Republican Party is a cult. Of Sorcery's this, right? real. Particularly the, 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 uh, the congressional wing which is really the military wing of that party at this right. point. So I don't believe most of them could be offended by anything, but it offends their, her political sensibilities, and there are a few others, because women who understand this, on the, at least they, they have some understanding, these women are still crazy because they're right-wing Republicans, but they do have some understanding on a political and, you know, and really a personal level how this might play right. with Republican and independent women out there. Two years out from terrible. this election. 